All right, boys and girls, we're live. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's there. It's great. We're live, baby. We're live. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're not making a TikTok. Yo, how many views do you have? Oh, We have three. That's cute. Can we see the three? Yeah, we should be able to. How come it doesn't show? Oh, <laughs> you I know, we were on the live stream for a bit. You wanted to be on it. This is good. <laughs> oh, it's only one person now. Oh, you guys were too I was one. Yeah, I was one of the people. Am I going to get this? I got a new follower from uh, the stream earlier. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are you the Chinese characters? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a string of Chinese characters. Oh, right, Harris. Yeah. Where's the where's the live the whole live stream can see <laughs> So the live stream address is in Brightspace in an announcement. <laughs> I mean, some people love it, some people don't. It's like nobody. You get three people watching. They're probably all in the room. Yeah. Are you? Okay. So you keep an eye on the chat, okay? If anybody says anything, let me know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll change it a little bit. Like if I point that at the screen, that won't be too bad. I'm looking at this and then I'm looking at her and then I'm looking at this and then. Uh, Say what? It's like a little bit like, uh, delayed, eh? That's what they were saying, yeah. Uh, the camera's still on, folks. I'm just not showing it to you. That's what I want. I can travel for really cheap. I'm not worried about it. Is that you? That's me. That was, I totally based her idea I know. <laughs> These are the Disney princess ones. We're okay. Okay. Oh, we're going to check also. Can they hear us? I don't know. Ask them. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? 
Tell her to use the chat. Use the chat, Sky, if you can hear us. Hi, Sky. All right, you're going to take attendance. <laughs> Eli here. <laughs> Jamie, not here. Bellway. Emma. Who's online right now? Who's watching the, the chat? All right. So. Can you let me know when I get to them that they're here? Okay. Sam. Thank you. Oh, Sam is a present. Christy. Julia. Kayla. David. Sarah. Har uh, Harps, yes. Not here? Spencer, Harris, Lauren, absent, Sarah, hi, wait a minute, there were two, I anyway, forget, Josh, absent, Madeline, Christine, absent. Sky, Sky's on the chat. Stay there, Sky. Kately, Wesley, Katie, Fong, Dora. Hello, Jeremy, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> absent, <laughs> Shelby, hi, 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 hi. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Can I draw more pictures for you? Oh, yes. Yes, you can. What can I draw? Just draw the Charlie and Charlene thing. Just Charlie and Charlene. Show me, show me. Show me. There? Yeah, because the live stream. There you go. Charlie's going to draw Charlie or Charlene or Charles. Or do you know yet? Clarence. Clarence, okay. Malik. Nicole, Morgan, Philomene, Kirim, not here, Devin, yeah. Lynn, Sulu, Danny, Kira. Okay, who's supposed, who's supposed to be representing Kira? I know she's oh, online. Yes, Kira's here. Sorry, Kira. Hi. I'm here on behalf of Kira. Who else is here? <laughs> Skyler. We got Skyler. So it's basically Skyler and Kira online. Who's D. Laura Scott Star? She's here. That's me, if you insist. All right. 
All right, we'll come back to Clarence when you're done. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so, oh, I need to turn in. So, oh, you can't see Charlene. We'll come back to Charlene in a minute. Who's on the live stream? All right, so tell me when this works. Bring it, bring it up. Bring it up. What are we doing? Point it up. So we should have to point it up. Up, 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 up. There we go, right there. Yeah, okay, perfect. Just leave it there. That's not going to stay. Well, you have to turn the thingy. Oh, it's delayed, isn't it? That's weird. Yeah. There we go. Why don't we put it like right there? Yeah, that's good. Well, I've got limited to the cord, eh? Okay, so. So what are we going to do? Today is, um, we're doing two things. Can I have your attention, please? Thank you very much. If, because it won't reach, right? So am I, is my face like huge right now? Somebody show me yeah. a screen. Yeah. So maybe if I'll stand over here or something. I'll, I'll walk around so it's not quite so bad. Um, so I'm doing this for well, right now. There's two in, in the first section. I think we had six people online. It's quite possible next week we might do it this way, like a large. I don't know whether this they're going to close all down for or not. But it would not surprise me. Um, so if we do, I don't know what I'll talk about at large. We'll do either. Whether they're just going to, you know, anyway. Presuming we're going to go online, we'll anticipate having classes, and you know, I'll be in my office, and you guys can do wherever you are. We'll try this out, right? Uh, see if it works, see if we don't break the internet. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to talk about self and how it, how it interacts with consumer behavior and teamwork. So first chunk is going to be this lecture on self, and then you're off doing teamwork. Getting ready for your update number two. You did your update number one. You're sitting in your groups. This group, what are you doing? Fast fashion. Fast fashion is your client. Uh, we just is the, uh, and, okay, you guys. I guess it's only just you and me. Hey, hey, hey. No, she's with me, Tom. Okay, that's good. But keep the noise down. Try and hear it. Okay, so you guys are As your client. Okay, good. What about over here? What up? I have no fucking clue what's going on. No, 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 no. no. I, I do know what's going on. Who's your client? What are you doing? Okay. Well, you should still know. Oh, we've got a speed product. Product, yeah? And we're doing Crocs. Crocs. Yes. All right. Good. You guys? <laughs> okay. Are you guys here? Uh, responsible. Pet ownership. Pet ownership. Who's your client? Uh, the SPCA. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, close enough. <laughs> I think you both at least are thinking about the same organization. In here? We're with, I'm with Crocs. You're with Crocs. You guys? Uh, we're doing the Norwegian jails. You're doing the Norwegian. <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing social justice, Norwegian prison system, and uh, our client is Association of Correctional Justice. Okay, and the idea is for Canada to adopt. Yes. As opposed to, you know, like. Just sending it. Okay. Jamie's in the live stream. Jamie's in the live stream. Okay, great. Tell her to leave a note so that I get her on attendance. You guys. We're doing. Um, how plastic affects uh, wildlife uh, globally. Okay, and who's your client? Um, WWF. All right. Good. Okay, so, hey, this should be top of mind for you guys. You should know who your client is, right? You should be kind of sleeping on it and thinking about this stuff. I know you got a bunch of other stuff to think about. Compartmentalize your brain. And in this class, for like 90 minutes, not even 90 minutes, 75 minutes. Try and focus. Hmm. I know it's impossible. 
but just give it a shot. You'd be surprised what you can do. So, and I'll keep this sort of lecture thing under 20 minutes, and presumably you can concentrate that long. Nope, no, I know. Five seconds. Five second rule. They only have the attention span of a goldfish, Tom. Less than a goldfish. Super quick review of where we've been. We have Clarence. Clarence is gorgeous. So can we see Clarence on the screen there? So that's Clarence. I can't really zoom in. Sorry, but the marker's there, yeah? So if that's Clarence, what are we trying to do? He's wearing, he's got a belt buckle that says stimuli. That's awesome. All right. And if I draw this, and I draw this, and I draw that, and I draw that, what are these things? Stimuli. stimuli. And what are we trying? You guys are creators of stimuli, correct? Yes. Right. And so, what are we trying to do when we launch one into the into the wilderness? What is, what's this thing again? Sexual, sexual barrier. It stands between you and Clarence. It stands between you and Clarence's mind. Right. Yes. And how do you get your message? How did the process of your message going from where you created it to into his brain is called? It's the first thing on the list. Perception. 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 It has sort of three phases. We call it exposure. Right? And then once you cross this line, what do you get? Interpretation. No, you oh. get awareness. And then as it enters into his brain, I don't actually want to cross over such a beautiful picture. Um, we'll say interpretation. I'm going to work on my lettering, I promise I will. Beautiful picture. Exposure, awareness, interpretation. That's the perceptual process that we've been talking about. There's also a decision-making process we'll touch on. Uh, uh, learning and memory and attunement and buoyancy, yeah? Anybody know what we're talking about by that? There's a book you're supposed to be reading? Don't read anymore, Tom. Um, this is, uh, hey? Attunement, what is it? We actually had a little bit of a lecture. Part of one class we talked about attunement and buoyancy. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. It's part of a book. The book that you're supposed to be reading for this course. There's a book? Um, Holy shite. What's the book called? Anybody know? To sell as human. Well, Shelby's got the right idea. She's zipping through the slides. I can find this. I can get this answer. <laughs> What's that? It's not the right one? No, but you're headed. At least you're trying, right? At least you're trying. What's so funny? I just what? Oh. If I do this, I'm in? We can do like a puppet show. Um, okay, so attunement and buoyancy are two concepts out of the book. To sell as human. The only reading I'm asking you to do. I know it's hard, but it's good exercise for your brain. Okay, brains need exercise like any other muscle in your body. It's true, they do. Um, anyway, attunement is really important because it's akin to this idea of empathy, right? You want to get through this perceptual barrier that's between you and Clarence, right? How do you do that? We've talked about this repeatedly. Tailoring a message specifically to him. Tailoring a message to him, to his needs and wants, needs and wants right, is the short answer. Uh, so, yeah, and so how do you know what Charlie's needs and wants are? You study them. You become attuned to them and their needs. That's He's just using that word, right? And in an interpersonal relationship where it's just you and one other, right, is his context, but the same principle applies even if we're never going to meet Clarence. And the idea of buoyancy is about what? Anybody got a guess? Dog team. Define a balance. Oh, um, Sorry, the buoyancy is defined a balance. Good guess. And it kind of is, I suppose. Yes? 
Yes! Oh my God! Sarah! It just came to me. There was a connection made in your brain somehow, and you remembered it. So, but you're absolutely, buoyancy is a technique that Dan Pink, the author of the book, talks about to help you deal with rejection. Anybody ever feel rejected? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah? Right? So it's actually worth looking at those slides because it's a technique. If you can stick it in your brain, it'll help you in life. Yes. I don't know. It's definitely not in week 10. Uh, tournament would have been, I think, seven or eight. Um, I'm guessing there. I can't be positive. Sorry. Okay. So anyway, those two concepts from the book, just that was the, that was review. So let's talk about self. Right? So when I was preparing this lecture, I was looking at all the stuff I have under this topic self, and I created this map. And so we're not going to cover everything that's on this map because that would literally we could take a whole week, a whole course and talk about self, right? It's got many, many, many avenues that you can go down. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I thought I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even you, okay? It's, it's, it's whatever was going on over here. So just, just give me your attention. Just, just you know, give me 60%. I don't even ask for it all. You guys are still looking for the slides on points. Let it go. All right. Back to the... Oh. Everyone has lost their focus totally. See? Devin was right. Yeah, what? Huh? All right. Okay, forget this this diagram. It's got too it's got too many bits. There's a dog picture for you. And he's younger. He's about a year and a half. And that's Otis, and he thinks he can fly. He has a self concept. So this is this is the definition of self concept. All right, self. What's self concept? You braiding her hair. What's self concept? When we talk about that, what do we mean? Concept, intensity. <laughs> <laughs> Those are dimensions of self-concept. No, I'm asking, what do we mean when we say self? Sorry, what's about what you think about yourself, right? It's the beliefs you have in your own attributes. I am pretty. I am handsome. I am a goofball. I, I, I am smart. I am sociable. I am not. A, I am unsociable. I am a good athlete. I am a team member. I am a good friend. Whatever, all of those things, right? So it can be a long list of things, and on each one of those things, right? The things are called the content. So I believe that I am smart. Okay, that's that's let's say that's a thing, right? That's part of my self concept. The content is my smartness. The positivity is a scale that runs from, I am the stupidest thing since a bag of hammers, right? <laughs> to, I am the smartest person in the world. I can be anywhere on that scale. And I might, and it might even move depending on how I'm feeling that day, right? But generally, so your self-concept is about a thing, the content, the example I'm using is smartness. Uh, and it has a positivity scale. It goes from horrible to super, super good. And then there's the intensity, which is how important is that to me? Well, I don't care. So it's not very important. So it's not a big deal. Or it's very important, in which case the intensity goes up. The intensity can vary depending upon your context. How important is it that you're dressed well? I'm a smart dressed man, right? If that's part of your self-concept, right, does that matter? The intensity is very high if you're out trying to attract suitable partners or trying to get a job versus you're at home binge watching Netflix it's not so intense. And how stable is it over time? So again, you know, is it a self-concept thing where sometimes you're feeling okay, sometimes you're not feeling so okay. It's up and down. How radical is those up and downs? 
and how accurate it is. So here's a trick. Here's a hint for you, or a, a I will. It's not accurate. Chances are your self concept is probably inaccurate. If it, if it's bad, it's not as bad as you think it is. If it's good, you're probably not quite as good as you think you are. All right. So just acknowledge that your accuracy is probably not all that great. Kira has a question. Yes, Kira. She said, would self-concept not be based on what others tell you about yourself for the most part? Well, the, for the most, certainly it does for, it's part of it. And we'll talk about that. Absolutely. Um, but it, and is it the most part or is it a little part? I think that's a, that's a decision slash it varies depending upon the individual. I was going to say it's a decision, but it may not be like a hundred percent, but certainly as you guys mature, you can decide how much, how important that is to you. Yes. Yeah. Is it the question that was just asked that Shelby just asked? No, it was for Kira. Yeah. Kira. Ask yeah. it. Ask it. <laughs> what's the question for us? Oh, what's the question? Oh, it Cora. says <laughs> would <laughs> it says uh would self -con uh, concept not be based on what others <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You really not, so so Shelby just asked that question on behalf of Kira. So we were talking about attention and perception and how it's quite possible to completely ignore sensory input, right? There's an example of it. I'm just saying, okay, I don't mean to pick on you, right? But like you're so zoned in on that, perhaps, and whatever else, that you didn't hear it going on out here, right? Uh, so it's just an example of how the perceptual process can work. So... I've been really working on my drawing skills, you can tell. There's a new Charlie, uh, or Charlene, I guess. Um, and so we're talking about each of us has many selves and many users. So self-concept is not just a single thing. This is who I am and you will always be, right? Yourself, who you are and who you present changes depending upon your role. And so if you think about Charlene here, you know, she could be a spokesperson for the pet shelter. She could be a Canadian. So the, her, she's a citizen and she plays that role as a voter, for instance, or, you know, at times it's like, yes, I'm a Canadian and I care. She might be a mother. That might be a huge role for her. Uh, you know, some of these roles, they vary, right, in terms of their intensity and how much they take over somebody's life. Uh, an athlete, maybe she's a runner. She does marathons. She's a daughter to somebody. Uh, and so she has a relationship with her mother and or her parents. She's an employee, she's a sister, she's a student, she's a friend. So if you put yourself in her shoes, right, and you think about your own life, you all have different roles you play, right? So you all have a common role here as a student, a student of this program. But if you think about your own life, you have other roles as well, right? You're all somebody's kid um, and whatever else. So, so the roles are important because... Char Clarence, sorry, will show different parts of himself to different people different, in different roles. Also, him acting in those roles will actually shape who he is, right? Um, so it's a, it's a back and forth cycle. Anyway, the types of self, if we shift away from the roles we have to the types of self that we're going to talk about, and this is not like the, the super list. Because if you search for this stuff online, you'll see different, different lists of types of self. But they're the four we're going to use. You have your real self, which is who you think you really are, which we know is inaccurate. Uh, you have your ideal self about who you want to be, which we also know, by the way, is probably inaccurate. But we won't go into that. You have your looking glass self, which is what we think others think, which we'll talk about. And you have your social self. So do I need to talk? Real self, who you think you really will be, who you think you really are. So in your in your private mind, your private thoughts, you know, how you think about yourself and who you are. And then you have your ideal self, who you want to be. And if you think about well, the next slide, we're going to talk about the gap between those two things. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about how others influence who we think we are. And then finally, who we let ourselves see. So you have our, this is, this is a super ugly slide. I apologize for it. Start off as a Halloween slide. And then I was going to change it and make it 
better, but I didn't finish. So the only thing I did manage to do is change the text from green to black. Um, anyway, the idea is over on the left, this side is your actual self. Right, your realistic view. <laughs> like the <laughs> <it's> late jump. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can probably. These are saved, right? I just found out, so I think you'd be able to go to my channel and rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> if you find We're good bits, put the timing in. Put the the timing in the uh, in the in the notes for me, so maybe I can edit them out and do something. Um, <laughs> If you put it on TikTok, make sure you tag me. I'm not. <laughs> Let me know. Actual self. So you have this actual self, who you think you are, your realistic view of who you are. And we remember that we create our own interpretation of reality. And then at the other side of this equation, we have your ideal self, right? How you think you'd like to be. So if you think about your situation, you're here spending time and money at Algonquin College studying advertising marketing communications. Why are you doing that? It's a significant investment of your of your life, right? Why are you doing that? If you think about it, maybe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but in this theory it would say, okay, well you know you kind of who you are, you're like, you know, I'm a poor or whatever, uh, recent grad, or you know, I have no real career prospects. What am I gonna do? I want to be a professional, I want to be, you know, a successful adult. Uh, so you have some idea that there's an ideal self out there that, is, that you're going to attain by investing in this education. Okay, so that's a big example. A smaller example would be Clarence going, I want to be a sharp dressed man. I want to be well respected. So I'm going to go out and get myself a bow tie. Because Clarence is wearing a bow tie. And a, and a hat. What kind of hat is that? Is that like a straw hat? I was thinking of the Three Stooges. There is an episode <laughs> called Disorder in the Court, where Curly has a, a hat on, and it's what do you call it? Derby Holy moly! Derby hat. Okay, derby hat. Yeah. All right. Well, that was pretty specific with <laughs> the Three Stooges there. Okay. So, so anyway, this 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 distance between who you are, who you think you really are, and who you want to be is motivation, which is the top bar. Okay, it generates the energy that, that gets Clarence off his ass to go to the tie store and buy that bow tie because he wants to be cool and bow ties are cool. Cool? And then at the bottom, we also have this stuff, right? So who Clarence thinks he is is not entirely from his brain. Like he doesn't just go, this is who I am and it's all about him. No. There's a whole bunch of influences, which Kara was getting at earlier, right? Which is, yes, we are shaped by the media. Yes, we are shaped by our upbringing. In fact, probably the most important shaping happens in your early days, right? And it's done by your family and your early education and the, the culture you grew up in. Uh, and then it continues to get modified by the culture that you drive through and your friends and your, whatever happens to your family and all of that stuff. Okay, but the main thing to remember here is that that gap between actual and ideal represents or can result in motivation. So this is just more of the same, really. We buy products in order to highlight or to hide aspects of ourselves. Each of us is a unique and special snowflake. <laughs> Unless we're not. Uh, so positivity. Okay, so like I mentioned, every every Belief is on a rating scale, kind of. Uh, and so if you have low self-esteem, you think you're not going to perform well. If you have high self-esteem, you think you're going to be successful. There's a super interesting and useful mind hack here for those of you that actually want to be successful. Can anybody guess what it is? Be nice to yourself. Kind of, yeah. Right? It's It's... These things are totally related. But you have self-esteem, you have low self-esteem, you are likely not to perform well, which will reinforce the belief that you have low self-esteem. I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. See, I didn't do it, right? I'm no good at that. And that just becomes a cycle, a self-fulfilling prophecy. On the other hand, you go, I can do this. 
I can do this. I'm special. And you do it. And then maybe it doesn't work right away. So you keep at it because you're special. You can figure this out. And then you do it. And you go, see, look. So what's going on here? Is, is psychology beyond what we're going to talk about. But my, my, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that in your own life, right? If you have, if you have low self-esteem issues, work on breaking that cycle. Sometimes you need some therapy to do it. You need somebody else to help you do it because it's really tough, right? So high self-esteem, if it goes too far is just as bad really, but generally speaking, not a problem. Um, but it's the low self-esteem that becomes destructive because it gets in the way of you actually becoming a whole person. Yes. Would you say that like our generation will have a lot more difficulties with this just because of how much advertising we're seeing over the span of our lives and just like day to day? I don't know whether there's probably some longitudinal studies on that, right? Because you're not really the first generation to grow up advertising immersed. You, you are probably the first generation to grow up internet immersed, which maybe is a different thing, but you know, there, there used to be a lot that there used to be and there. There is still a lot of criticism in on, um, on television advertising, right? Especially fashion advertising and, and women and eating disorders and that type of thing. Um, but I'm not sure that the evidence is really that solid. I think Instagram is like oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get into sort of the virtual identity space in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and but you know, so maybe if if that's happening, just be recognize that everybody's fucked up. Okay, that's the secret. <laughs> it is because everybody is. Uh, so talking about virtual identity, this is my virtual identity from a few years ago playing world of Warcraft. Yeah. So, so, I mean, that gives you a, a, like, what does this mean? Right. First of all, I picked a, a race called Torin, right? Because, oh, they're the nature loving race. This is when I first setting up my character. I had no idea what the game was about. And then I don't, I didn't know what specialty to pick. So I'm a warrior, right? And that's me at the end when I was like level 85. And that's my motorcycle I built. I had to run around, do all kinds of shit to gather the materials and then earn, learn the skills to make the things, to put the fucking thing together so that I could get across the landscape quickly. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, and I had to quit playing this. Started playing it because I wanted to play with my son. And he very quickly said, I'm not playing with you anymore. He said, stop being bad. Right. But really it sucked up a lot of hours, but from a social perspective. Okay. The, one of the reasons I stuck with it was to kind of explore this. Okay. Who can I be in game? Right. Cause you can be anybody in game. You could be a really sexy wood elf or whatever. Right. Uh, and like there's female characters and male characters and there's nothing, you know, I could be whatever character I wanted to be. Um, and so is that an alter ego? Probably for a lot of players it is. And maybe it was for me. I just wanted to run around and kick, kick shit out of stuff with a hammer. You know, that's what warriors do. But there was, there's community there. There was an economy. It's all that stuff. I'm trying to stick it to the point here. So the point is, I had a, this is a virtual, an example of virtual identity. Also, this is still within that world, but the idea of symbolic interactionalism, they call it. Uh, but symbols have meanings. Right? And products are symbols. What's going on, guys? A little cabal here. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Who am I talking about? Let's, let's just let's just make sure we're zooming in here. <laughs> Dara, let me see your screen. All right, there we go. Hello. Uh, yeah, we'll move on. We're gonna have to find. We're gonna have fun if we have to go all virtual. Yeah. Well, it means you got to wear clothes, right? You get a reminder. You have to wear clothes on the on the on the Zoom call. Um. So okay, this is Looking Glass self. So this is the this is a really tricky one. Right? What do you think 
somebody else thinks about you. <laughs> so for some of us, those of us with a high need for sort of validation, this can be overriding, right? And dangerous that way. Um, but you know, there's how your mom sees you, there's how your girlfriend sees you, there's how your ex ex girlfriend sees you, right? And so you all you all have in your head, you know, Tom thinks I'm a goof. Tom thinks I'm a smart thing. Tom doesn't even recognize me. He doesn't know my name, right? So if, if we looked at that, or you might have the same thing with another another teacher or people in your life, right, who are more important than me, right? You care about what they think. And I think there's a variable in terms of personalities or people types on how much you care about what other people think, right? And some people care a lot and some people don't care so much. Some people only care about what certain people think. Yes? So... In the case, like, so there's some people who care so much about what other people think about that to the point where, um, like, for example, if someone was mad at you, right, and then, like, your friend, and then you care so much about what they think about you, then that, like, physically makes you, like, anxious. And, like, you yes. Can't. So what, what would you, would you say, like, that's the extreme to, to having that? Yeah. To, like, so that's, like, one side of it, and then the other side would just be to completely ignore, like, everything. I don't give a fuck does. about anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that there, that, that range is sort of, it's associated with how much do you want to be part of a group versus how much do you want to be an individual? And at either end, you're getting, you're getting pathological, you're getting sick, right? So at either end, you need to seek treatment. So like this, like, this type, or like, so how would you say that if like, okay, so if you had one person on one side of that, like you just didn't care about yeah. anything, and then you had another person on the other side who cared too much, how do you think that those... Two, two would interact. Yeah, like how would they? Would they? Do you think that they would compliment one another in a way, or would they? Just as a, as a, I don't know. That would be interesting. <laughs> Maybe they'd balance each other out if they were like in a partnership. I don't know, but if for Clarence, right? It's good to know that about Clarence, right? Who does Clarence care about what they think? So you know, Clarence, if you're selling hats or bow ties, in the case of Clarence, right? Clarence has an ideal self where he's much more successful than he is today, right? He has a, he has a, uh, a hop in uh, pasta shop and he sells, uh, he sells pasta, pre premier pasta. That, that's what he's looking to be, right? Right now he's just getting out of school. He doesn't really, uh, but he wants to own a pasta shop and he needs to look sharp because people like to buy pasta from sharp people. And uh, if his father, who happens to know a lot about, making pasta and being successful, right? Says you need a bow tie. Then he cares about what his father thinks. So one of the ways you can get at him is a bow tie your father would appreciate. Right? Now maybe, maybe Clarence doesn't give a damn about what his father thinks, but he really cares about what Charlene thinks. And hey, Clarence, psst, Charlene thinks bow ties are cool. You know what I mean? So you see, see how you can use that? People's in the corner. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Nothing. What's going on? Oh, I got to figure out how to get this zooming. <laughs> now, Lynn, you, I'm not. I'm trying to shame them. <laughs> you guys look shamed. All right. Let's see if this comes back. Oh yeah, it moves really slow. Right? Like it's like a three-second lag. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. We're still there. All right. Looking glass self. We talked about this thing called the self fulfilling prophecy. All of these are strategies you can use. Self consciousness. Yes. The question from Kira Would this all change for people with bipolar? Oh my God, probably. I have no idea though. Like, I don't, I don't know anything about this, the, the condition really. So I can't, I can't comment on that, but probably we're talking really generalizations here all through the course, right? There's this idea of uh, identity, mark, like truly buying into the product. You know, like in this case, getting a tattoo, fairly permanent uh, relationship with Apple. 
So this is kind of, we've been talking a lot about this, that our social identity, right? The identity that we present to the world can be reflected in the products we buy. So there's this idea of getting from where I am now to where I want to be tomorrow is a motivation. It can be a motivation for certain purchases. Uh, the fact that I wear unbleached organic cotton shirts says I care about the planet. I don't, right? Uh, but, if, you know, if I really cared about the planet, maybe I would. Or better yet, maybe I'd get rid of the car and take a bus. But I do have an electric car. So, okay. So, you know, maybe that's my compromise. My point is that you can reflect your values in your purchases. And frequently we do. We can reflect who we want to be in our purchases. And sometimes, you know, some of those sort of things we buy or the external attribute, the external things we're, 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 tack we're tacking on become literally part of us, right? I have an example. Where is it? This makes me think of this. System. So here's an example. It's my bag. You guys have all seen it, right? So for a long time, I was a consultant. So this is like a consultant's bag. You can stuff everything in here. Um, I can drag it around so I can take my office with me sort of thing. So this becomes part of my role as a professional, as a consultant, as a teacher, as an employee, right? This is part of my uniform. Um, and... It's been around, it's been part of me for like 15, 20 years, I think. It's beginning to wear out in places and I'm going, hmm, right? Getting a new bag would be a big deal because it says something about who I am or do I get it fixed? You know, because it's just like the zipper. I can get the zipper fixed. The leather just gets nicer. Um, I don't know. What should I do? Should I get a backpack? Sometimes I think I should get a backpack. No. It's easier to haul around town. It's a different state. No, she says no. Not as professional. Not as professional. Get a suitcase, a briefcase. Yeah. So, so sort of when I was in your shoes, just about right where you are now, except at the time the program was only two years long, right? So I was graduating in five months or whatever. I actually started to think about this, right? And, and my purchase, I went out and I bought a briefcase. I still have it. It's this nice little leather briefcase. It's a slim line case, mm. right? Um, and I bought a jacket. And I started to wear this stuff to school. Like I was playing the role. I was trying it on, right? So as you progress, you're going to do the same sorts of things, right? You're not going to wear the hoodies out in public as much, right? The toques will probably slowly disappear in, in, in your day job, depending some of you, your day jobs will, will suit the two just fine. But there's this idea of, okay, you know, your favorite sweater, your favorite bag, your favorite object becomes part of you. My daughter's water bottle. She has this water bottle she's had for 15 years. I don't know if it's 15, but a long time. It's covered with stickers, right? And the stickers add to the value. I had a laptop, a work laptop with a bunch of stickers on it. And I had to turn in my laptop because I was changing jobs. And I, I was really sad because I had to take all the stickers off, right? But that, the, the stickers on that laptop became part of my professional identity. So this is basically what we've been talking about, right? Product usage tends to align with whatever our self-image is. And now it's time to talk about team project. There's a whole bunch of other slides in this in this presentation. Uh, if you keep going, there's a whole bunch more slides on self. So I encourage you to, to go through them. I'm not going to, I just, we don't have the time to spend on it. I think it's more important right now that you have a little bit of time to work on your team project. Uh, specifically, oh, it's not in here. It's in the other one. When's it due again? When's it due again? Yeah. Um, week 14. Yeah, the actual project is due, the final part of it is due week 14. Oh, okay. uh, and you'll be presenting it that week as well. Is it that week? Is that evaluation week? Um, 
anyway, presentation. So there's no exam in the course, but during exam week, basically, I'll be asking you guys will be presenting and, your and projects. You we'll do. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Um, so right now, in two weeks' time, you're going to have to do team update two, and I'm just going to explain something about the 20 concepts. Hey, you guys, whatever's going on on the phone, you're going to have this question. So just listen to the answer. Uh, and then you can go back to whatever's going on on the phone. Turn the phone over upside down. That's good. Screen down. Yeah, good, good. What's in your hands? Yeah, let me see your hands. Hold your hands up. Keep them up. Uh, <laughs> there's a phone down there, right? Uh, it's okay. I'm, jo I'm joking. No, I'm not. So this, the question, at least 20 concepts, you're going to come to this part in the assignment and you're going to go, oh my God, he wants 20 concepts. That's unreasonable. Ah! All right. No, it's not. 20 concepts is your brainstorm. Okay. So you've thought about, hopefully you've thought a little bit about your client, your target audience. By the end of today, I want you to have figured out who your target audience is. Okay. So you have some sense of the ecosystem, right? All the players. Uh, you got to pick one who's going to be your target audience. And the 20 concepts is 20 messages, right? Oh, we can, we can get it to Clarence with an ad that tells him his mother loves bow ties because Clarence cares about his mother, right? We can target Clarence with um, a tweet that says blah, blah, because this, we can hit him with a print ad or concept that, so, so the concepts are very vague. They're not well produced. Okay. It's like a headline. If, if you're thinking about it in terms of print, it would be like a headline and a, and a description of the picture, right? So just enough to get to communicate the basic idea. Is this making sense for everybody? Nobody's nodding. A couple of people are nodding. They'll shut up if we nod. Just nod and smile. He likes that. <laughs> um, and I got a class full of, what are those dolls called? <laughs> what are they called? Bobbleheads. Bobbleheads, yeah, yeah. We should, we should make a, a, a periscope, everybody who make bobbleheads. Um, yes. So, that was the, so, okay, now talk amongst yourselves. I'm here to answer questions. See if you can answer these questions. Like, start with the top two over here. What's your objective? Who's your target audience? What are you guys doing? Okay. So between, and there's two of you here. Where's your third or fourth? Um, they're gone. They're gone? They're gone? Yeah. Like they're just not I here today? Or? They're on the last year, okay. So between you, you get to decide. Okay. Right? Have you got a Google Doc going or something? Um, yes. So you two talk about it? Like, okay. you know, who should, who should, so you've got a big, you've got a big deal. Right, you've got, is this showing you? It's, I'm sure, uh, point it down a little, yeah. Okay, there we go. It's gonna go that, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, come on, I wanna hear a conversation about who's our target audience and what the hell are we trying to do anyway? Not the weather. So you guys, your scope is big. Okay, so it's, 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 what is it? Is it an awareness campaign on the effects that plastics have on wildlife? Is that fair? I think, I think we agreed on something like that, yeah. Well, it should be in your doc, right? So I would go to your Google doc and see what that says. And, you know, you guys being the only two here active, you get to change that if you want to. So you should have some clarity around it, right? What is it you're trying to achieve? And then, then we'll, you can think about, okay, how are we going to do this? Like, who needs to know? Are you talking to the whole world? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to reduce, so what, what's the goal? Is it, to, is it to raise funds for the World Wildlife Fund so that they can do their things? Or do you want to directly address the use of plastics? Encourage consumers to use less plastic. Or do you want to convince? Can we do a bit of both? Like, we might say, like, spread awareness, but also, like, alternate ways to keep from using plastic? Or, you know what I mean? Well, yes, okay, but, but what I'm, I'm concerned about is don't. Hey! Are you guys. 
You just can't resist, eh? Or do it silently. You can do it, but do it silently. We can add the music later. Sorry. Yeah, so can we do a little bit of both? You, yes, you can, but I, I, I would recommend try and focus. The, the more comp, you know, yes, yes, you can do all sorts of things, but yeah, try and focus. It's much better to focus, right? And then, because you have know, a limited amount of time, you don't have time to do everything, so. You know. So, um, I guess, um, what would you say? I want to. Harris loves the camera. But does the, Karis lo does the camera love Harris? Any companies like how plastic you look like. Wow. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> what? Are you watching the live stream? Uh, <laughs> So we're supposed to pick an objective. Yeah. Um, what is our objective? So we can say that uh, our objective is to uh, raise awareness. Or, yeah. Nora, yeah. Nora. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't. Wow. Well, yes. You guys? Can we turn it down a little? Yes. Like, hey. Oh my gosh, it's just so distracting. Wait, what? Stay, folks. Sit down in your groups. Talk in your groups. Okay? Enough sort of horseplay and the rest of it. Let's take advantage of the time I'm giving you to actually do some work. Yeah, yeah, totally. So we're going to touch on that aspect, but we need more of a bigger, bigger topic. Is that just a lot? It's, like it's too plain. Um, so we could, uh, we could uh, say that Show ways that this I don't know. I don't I so, I'm just going to draw it out. I'm just going to draw it out. Yeah, I think Okay, so why are we Okay, so these are just ideas. Um, 
Why is that upside down? Oh, oh, oh. So what are you going to do with that? I'll keep this for a while. Right. Sure. That's bad. That's bad. All right, I think we're going to end the stream. Wait, don't have to get out. Oh, Jamie's still there. <laughs> Everybody's just got to get their little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You <laughs> smooch. <laughs> Oh, that's trippy. Is this trippy? I'm trippy. 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 All right, are we done? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the stream. Thank you, everybody online. Should I point it towards you and say goodbye? Thank you, soon. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. All right, turn it around, everybody. In the room, say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye already. Damn. <laughs>